Good morning and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Somebody is a little vain. He just loves to see himself. Cameras, mirrors, windows, anything. He just loves himself and his mommy apparently. Apparently when they chew on your clothing, that's a sign that they love you. That's what I've been told by you know, all the doctors and stuff. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday. It is going to be a hopefully a great day. It's beautiful out. We are just, just, just going to start getting ready to go for our morning walk. today I thought I would make a day in the life vlog for you guys and share how a typical day in my life is today though I should have started way early in the day and you guys could have seen like his transition this morning he woke up in such a good mood happy talking tell me all sorts of stories big smiles big laughs woohoo um when it came to nap time today, he was not so happy. I was trying to put him in his room because I wanted to do a little bit of stuff out and about in the living room. Yes. And I wanted to do um, some phone calls. Anyways, so I was trying to put him to sleep in his room and that was a no-go. He was literally screaming like somebody was hurting him. Like he screams like that very, very rarely to that extent. But he was like not having being in his room at all. Like it was a no-go. No, 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 no. I take him out of his room. He'd snuggle into me and be falling asleep just standing in the hallway. I go back into his room, losing his mind. So we had a cuddle nap today, this morning, which I mean, I love cuddle naps. I was just trying to be able to do some phone calls and stuff. But that's okay. We'll do them later. I got lots of time. I can do them later. Can I have my shirt back? So um, we had a cuddle nap on the rocking chair there. And I ate my breakfast while he slept on my chest. And it was just a magical moment. I'll insert a picture. Every time we do stuff like that, like you're a little bit frustrated. But at the same time, like, oh, I just look at this little face. And I'm so in love and so grateful. And he's only this small once he's sleepy. We're going to get going. Um, he's only the small one. So I intend to enjoy it all. But anyways, from now on, it is 1130. I am going to record as much as I can and show you guys what a typical day in the life for us is. I thought it'd be a different change of videos for you guys because lately you have had my series videos. Either it's my game back into shape videos or it's my what I wish I would have known videos. So I thought I would change it up spice it up a little bit and give you guys something different to watch. Hey, okay, we are gonna go. He's getting crabby and I know he is ready to go. He also loves seeing his puppers. So we're gonna go see the puppers. Okay, so we are out and about. This is the lovely dike that you guys always hear me talking about all the time. But, so we go walking here. Lots. It is so gorgeous out today. Like I can feel the breeze behind me, but it's just like a cool off breeze. It's not even that cold. So now that it's like starting to get nicer out, I am really struggling, like gauging how warm to dress Bentley. Just because like for me, I'm a warm person like I'm always warm or I take it back for me I'm always cold like sometimes even in the summer like during the day it'll be like a little bit too chilly for me or a little bit too windy except last year of course because I was pregnant but I'm always like a little bit chillier on the chillier side but Bentley um so far I think is taking after his dad and like Bryce is always warmer and so like he likes to be super snuggly at night and like nice and warm at night. But during the day, he's really warm all the time. I'm kind of whispering cause he's sleeping or going to sleep. He's doing a lot of talk. Um, so 
I'm having like a little bit of trouble gauging now how to dress him. So I've got him in a sweater and a toque and a blanket. And then he's like in the chariot. I'll get like, I'll show you guys after he's like officially out. And before I had like another blanket on him, but he was kind of like fussing. So I think he was too hot because now he's like settling. I don't really know. Like now that it's starting to get warmer and you just wish for warmer weather. And now I'm just like, I have no idea what the F I'm doing. <sighs> like, I don't know how warm or cold to dress him. I'm like, I don't want him to get sick. <sighs> you know what? It's just always going to be <laughs> me worrying because I'm like, I'm a worrier. I'm a worrier. That's the kind of person I am. I'm a worried worrier. Like even people I'm not like super close to, like I'll hear stuff and I'm just like, mm, I'm thinking of them, you know? So that's just the kind of person I am. I'm just like always worrying about stuff. It's just how I do, I guess. <laughs> and I guess as parenthood too, like for the rest of my life, I'm just going to worry about everything. So, I mean, I should be like super primed. <laughs> For doing all the worrying because I've always been a worrier but I don't know it's just different I guess so here he is like his little hands are sticking out and he has the blanket and I had like that little farm blanket there on him before I had that on him before and he was losing his mind and I am actually sweating right now <sighs> We have been walking pretty intense because I went for my walk, walk way too late today in high school, got out for lunch and this trail, like this dike here, it's beautiful. It's like, it's kind of secluded. It used to be more secluded, but whatever. So anyways, it goes like behind the high school and like there's an area where it's kind of like all open um, by the kids parking lot and where like some other houses are. Wow, I'm saying like a lot. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear the bells for the schools right now for lunch. So anyways, we had to like, <laughs> I had to basically run and tie the dogs back up because they love people so much. Lucy barks at everything and everything for no reason. But Bowser likes people. So if you would have seen, like if you would have been Lucy, he would have took off to the parking lot and Lucy would have went after him barking. And I wouldn't have been able to get them back. And I did not want to deal with that um, at all. So I just tied them up and kind of took off running. So I like ran the first half unintentionally. So I'm dying. I have a tank top, a long sleeve shirt, and then this sweater. But I think this way is warmer than that way because, like I said, I can feel a breeze. Kind of. So there. They're living it up. They love this. So, and yesterday they got like no walk at all. So, um, I'm trying to make sure I give them a really long walk today because they didn't get any exercise yesterday. Just our day didn't work out where I could take them. And today, like I said, I'm going to be, well, today I have to go out to my dad's to the farm. Um, and do some painting out there for him this afternoon. Well, for as long as Bentley will tolerate it anyways. It's not much. I don't think it'll take me long. Um, and my dad's currently in hydrocene in the field. If you don't know what that is, it's like giving the ground some love, basically, before you seed. So anyways, <laughs> um, my dad is finally in hydrocene. So I don't think he'll be there, but he might be there. So we'll see. Like if he's there, then Bentley can spend some time with his grandpa. If not, then I'll probably drive out to whatever field my dad's in after I'm done painting. Just so my dad can see Bentley and Bentley can see grandpa. But that all like depends. <laughs> it all depends on how our day goes today. Okay, so we're home from our walk. He is awake now. He was sleeping like a little bit. When we got home, I am dying. I wore way too many layers. Anyways, he had a really good 
our nappy poo. So we're just gonna have lunch and then we're gonna head on out to the farm. He got to see daddy, eh? Hey? Got to see daddy. Yes. So he got to see his dad for a little bit, about like 10 minutes, but that's better than nothing, so. He's a big fan of his dad too, I think, just because he doesn't get to see him as much as he sees me, right? So, but he, he's kind of a big fan of both of us. So he just likes to be able to have us, at the, like to have both parents at the same time kind of thing, which is nice. It's cute. Normally, like we'll have lunch at noon, obviously, but um, he has lunch when he wakes up. He still gets breast milk, like I still breastfeed him too. I don't plan on stopping that anytime soon either. It's really good for him. I'm uh, I'm gonna be one of those moms that breastfeeds probably for the entire first year, definitely for the first year. Um, and then we'll see. Okay, so we are back for the farm. Painting is like half done, but I brought the rest back with me because somebody was getting cranky, AKA this adorable child right here. Say hi. He just woke up from his nap, so he's still a little fussy baby. Okay, so tonight I am going to make some hella fresh, hella fresh for supper. Um, last night we had hella fresh. <laughs> And sometimes when he wait, like I said, he's in a clean mood today. So anyways, we came home from the farm uh, and then we went for a nice long walk. We did the perimeter of the town that we live in. Like I didn't bring the dogs, it was just us. And that's usually what I do in the afternoons. I haven't done my workout yet. Um, when I got home, um, Bryce had called me and I was on the phone with him. And I did like a little bit of like leg stuff. So like some squats and some lounge. Ooh, I was going to say lounges. Lord. Some squats and some lunges we did. Um, I did. Sorry, not we. But I haven't done like a full workout today yet. Except my walks. But that's okay. We are going to get HelloFresh prepped because his next sleep will be around 5.30ish. And like I said, Bryce is not home um, probably till like pretty late tonight. So... I'm gonna start prepping it now, and then um, I'll just turn it on once he's napping. It kind of depends on how difficult he is to put down. If he's chill about being put down, then it'll be easy. If not, it'll be another walk to put him down, which is fine by me. Just kinda depends on how he's feeling. But yeah, I'll just get every everything prepped. Oh, Fresh is not sponsoring this or nothing like that. Like. But I, I order HelloFresh like no one's business. literally my favorite thing about this time of year like I was so excited to be outside with Bentley and like try outdoor things with him so I'm really happy so far we have our dogs hanging out with us our cat is on the playhouse 
I don't know if, yeah, he's up there. There's Scar. They're dogs. I don't really know what they're doing, but they're kind of just giving Bentley his space. And we're just hanging out. So, that's how my evening going, is going. I have supper cooking. It's 5 o'clock, so our supper is probably, well, my supper is going to be done soon, but he should be getting tired around like 5.30. So, I think I'm going to try an outside nap. Um, putting him to sleep outside and then just transfer him into his crib. Um, but I also have to take my dad's supper, so I'm not really too sure. Like, my dad's supper is not going to be done yet. I say hi. <laughs> um, my dad's supper won't be done probably till, like, 5.30 because... I started his late. I wasn't too sure actually if I need to make him supper. <clears throat> um, so I took everything out to make him supper, but because he hadn't answered me, I didn't start cooking it because I didn't want to have all that leftover. Um, but he needs supper. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do because, but he never has like a super long sleep. His last sleep of the day is usually like 20 minutes. So I'm not really too concerned that it'll be too late for my dad to get a supper, but I also don't want him to have supper late. So we made him chicken and roasted potatoes, which is what we're having. We're having chicken and roasted potatoes and um, like a limey mayonnaise dip for supper. So. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Okay, so it's just after 7. It's about 7.30, I guess, now. Um, Bentley normally is in bed by, like, this time, but he fell asleep at 5.20, so we're up a little bit later tonight. You want to say hi? So every evening, it's just like this. We just chill out. Usually Bryce, well, some most of the time Bryce is home. Um, and then I go and have like a tub by myself and then Bentley joins me later. So like right now, Bryce would be bringing Bentley in for his tub. Um, but it's just us tonight. So I vacuum the whole house and swept or, and wash the floor. Normally I vacuum like three times a day because I have two dogs and our house gets pretty gross. Um, and there's my little bit of a clean freakness in there. So I usually vacuum before Bentley goes to bed because I can't vacuum when he's awake. And let's be honest, sweeping is overrated and I'm super lazy. Um, and then I wash the floor either before he goes to sleep or after I've put him down for the night and then clean up the kitchen. So I've already sweat or vacuumed and washed the floors, uh, for the night. I just have one last thing to do afterwards, but right now we're just going to chill out. We just gonna hang out <laughs> um, until bath time, bath time, and then adios amigos. Is it tubby time? Hi. Tubby time. So tonight I am gonna, well, I usually do, but I'm gonna have a bath with him tonight. Usually I have a bath with him. Um, but usually I like get in the tub, do my thing, and then Bryce brings him in and we have our bath, but like, he gets to play with all his toys. Mm. I know, I'm going, I'm going. He gets to play with all his toys and then I wash him up and he gets to play a little bit longer while I like get dressed and get ready kind of thing, like get dried off, get dressed. Uh -huh. And then I grab him out of the tub, but tonight we are going to do it just a smidgen different. Hello. 